Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. the distress call again, Jeanette. Very well, Rald. But the transmitter is failing. I fear the signals will not reach Earth. Zophite calling World Space Patrol Headquarters Earth. Emergency. Rescue sole survivors. The message will take a long time in reaching Space City. And time is something we have not got, Rald. It is too late, Jeanette. The signal is getting weaker. It is no use. Make haste, Jeanette, to the elevator. If we can make the underground shelter, we are safe for a while. Oh, it takes so long to rise. Space City. Emergency. Two survivors of civilization. Immediate rescue imperative. The power has gone. We can no longer send an emergency call. in a smoke. We are finished if we cannot reach the shelter. I am being overcome. It is no use. Give, give me your hand. Yeah. I will pull you. Hold on tightly, Janek. A few feet to go, Janek.
emergency. Rescue soul survivors. Emergency raid. Space city. Earth emergency. Two survivors. Immediate rescue imperative. Did you get that, Lieutenant 90? Sure thing, Commander Zero. What do you make of it? Make of it? It's not our job to make anything of it. It's an emergency red man. Emergency. Get the lead out of your boots and contact the patrol spaceship nearest to Zophite. Yes, sir, Commander. Space City to Fireball XL5. Come in, Colonel Zodiac. Receiving you loud and clear, Lieutenant. What can I do for you? I'll take it, Lieutenant. Steve, two lone survivors on Zophite are in some kind of trouble. Get them off that planet, will you? Roger, Commander. We're on our way. Yeah, that's what makes Zodiac a good space flyer, Lieutenant. He's on the ball, and don't let's forget it. No, sir. I won't. Set course for Zophite, Matt. Emergency red call received. Uh, Roger, Steve. We're very close. Zophite? What's the planet like, Steve? I've never been there, but from what Commander Zero says, something has wiped out the population. Except for two people. How terrible for them. Steer course, 3190 Red. Zophite dead ahead, Steve. Forward, Matt. Here's your chance to see Zophite firsthand. Roger, Steve. Going into orbit. Okay, Professor. I'll take over now. Back you go, Robert. Help Venus keep the orbit. Ready to disconnect, Steve. Good luck and be careful. Thanks, Venus. We'll keep in touch. No further message from the planet, Matt? Uh, no, Steve. Let's hope we're not too late. Say, Professor, take a look at that weird creature. Are you okay, Matt? Sure, Steve, but this fella obviously means business. That smoke, it's blinding me. Be careful, Steve. It could be a poisonous gas. I'm not taking any chances, Professor. I'll, I'll try and steer clear of it. No use. We'll just have to go through it. We're completely enveloped in smoke now. <coughs> it is poisonous, Professor. <coughs> Get the gas mask, Steve. <coughs> Here, clamp it on fast. Gee, that's better. I can breathe again. Yeah, me too. Guess we'd better rejoin Fireball and repair the damage. I'll radio Venus if we're on our way back. Okay, Matt. Everything's repaired now. Flight control from main cabin, Venus. What happens now? I think we better have a council of war. See you in the lounge. Robert's on his way to take over, Steve. She's all yours, Robert. Keep her orbiting Zophite. I keep thinking about those two Zophites, the only survivors of the planet. Yeah, time's against us and them. But we've got to plan carefully, Steve. 
It's no use if we all get killed. That Aquafibian's ray gun sure is powerful. We've already proved that Fireball Junior's screens aren't strong enough to withstand it. Isn't there something we can do about that? Well, I can try, but uh, it's not going to be easy. It's our only chance, Professor. You can do it, Professor. I know you can. Well, you can bet I'll do my darndest. You'll have to come with me next time, Venus. If we find those two guys alive, they may need medical attention. Okay, Steve. Yeah. Mm hmm It's a uh, ferocious compound will maybe do the trick. Well, here goes. What's going on in there, Matt? Hmm. Guess the molecular structure isn't great enough yet. Space City to Fireball XL5. Have you located survivors of Zophite yet, Steve? Not yet, Commander. We ran into a slight hitch. Hitch? What's going on out there? You should be on your way back to Earth by now. Okay, Commander. We're ready for the rescue bid now. The professor had to rig up something to stop us all being poisoned. Poisoned? <laughs> you see, Lieutenant? Highly trained technicians, every one of them. What a team. Well, back to the drawing board. Mmm, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. I think I found the cause of the trouble. Guess I use too much voltage. Zero's been on, he's been beefing about the delay. He doesn't mean it, Steve. He's very kind underneath it all. Uh, I guess you're right. Say, Professor, how are you doing? Hey, Matt, where are you? He's outside, Steve, spraying the screens. He's obviously found something that will withstand the ray gun. Okay, Venus. Get ready to take a real close look at Zophite. When our flying professor is through, that is. All set, Steve. Now, 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 for Pete's sake, take it easy. That aquafibian means business. Roger, Matt. Stand by. Here we go. Keep a lookout for the Aquafibian, Venus. He's dangerous. Steve! There he is! He's trying his ray gun again, Venus. Keep your fingers crossed that the professor's invention works. Ooh, it worked. Now to get rid of this creature. We'd better land and take a look around. This looks as good a place as any to touch down.
control. But Steve, we're equipped for underwater. Sure, when we're prepared for it. All right, Venus. We should be okay now. down here. Yeah, but we're no nearer to finding the survivors. Poor guys, they must have given up hope by now. Steve! The creature! He's trying his heat ray on the hull. Let's get out of here. But he can sure swim fast. See, that rock face ahead, it's opening. An underwater cave. I guess we haven't much choice but to go in, Venus. We must be immediately beneath the ruined city. There's a shaft above us, Steve. Yeah. And I can see light. I'm going to blow ballast tanks. We're going up. Venus, a vast cavern. You ready, Venus? We'll see where that tunnel at the far end of the cavern leads to. Roger, Steve. Aquafibian might have damaged Fireball Jr. if we'd given him the chance. Aquafibian? We saw no Aquafibian when we observed your craft on our television. That creature and his race are the cause of the ending of our people. Only Rald and myself have managed to elude them because we discovered this unknown shelter just in time. And if the Aquafibian has detected our underwater entrance, we are all doomed. I will switch on the televiewer. We will soon see if we are in danger.
The poisonous smoke, it is stronger than I've known. I am done for. <laughs> Venus. <coughs> Just a few minutes more. <coughs> we're, we're coming to the tunnel now, Venus. You stay right behind me. Beside Fireball Junior. Hang on, Venus. Well, I guess that's taken care of him for a while. Complete, Matt. Be with you soon. Nice work, Steve. All systems go. Not thank you enough, Steve Zodiac. All part of the job, I guess. Fireball XL5 to Space City. Survivors safe. Returning to Earth. Well, it's about time. What in thunder have you been doing? Did you run into more trouble? That, Commander, is the understatement of the year. I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. together, compass of the sky, my heart would be a fireball, a fireball, every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter, and maybe very soon, we'd cruise along the Milky Way, and land upon the moon. would be a fireball, a fireball, cause you would be my Venus of the stars. 